Hey, we're gonna do a tutorial for Beatles song, Blackbird. I'll try to make sure it's not too fast. We're only gonna do part of it. I'll play it through once so you have an idea of what you might be learning if you choose to do so. song, the portion of it at least that we're going to learn, not the whole thing. It starts off, um, again first string is going to be the bottom high E, the bottom of your guitar, but it's the high E because it's the high note, and your sixth string is the top of your guitar, but it's the low E. And we're going to start out on the sixth string, third fret with our middle finger, or third finger. And we're going to use our thumb to play that sixth string while our middle finger gets the second string. And most of the song will follow this format, where these two will pluck those notes together, and your pointer finger will get the third string right afterwards. So those are your first two notes for this portion of the song. Then you're going to switch, you can get your middle finger off and out of the way, because your pointer finger is going to go to the second string, first fret. And now your thumb is going to go down to the fifth string, while your middle finger goes up to the second string. But your pointer finger, when it's its turn, will get the third string again. So this fifth and second go together, and then your pointer finger gets the third string. Next is going to be bring your pointer finger over to the fifth string, and then down to the second fret. Then add your ring finger to the second string, third fret. So you got that guy and this guy, and it's fantastic. And again, your thumb's on the fifth string, your middle finger's on the second, you play it together, and you get the third string. Then you're going to slide this all the way down to the tenth and twelfth frets. And at this point, instead of just doing the third string by itself, you alternate between the third and second using your pointer finger and your middle finger on your right hand. So you play these together, then alternate. And you can probably hear that um, that second string gets held out a little bit longer before doing a little triplet. But I'll let you just hear it instead of trying to explain it. So you just learned. Good job. Next part is going to be the fifth string, also on the third fret again with your middle finger. So we're right next to the very first place you started. That's where we started, and you're just going to the fifth string, third fret. And so your thumb on your right hand will go down to the fifth string, and your middle finger will get the first string. And your pointer, when it's his turn, will still be getting the third string. So play that fifth and first together, and get the third. Then slide your middle finger one fret to the fourth fret, still on the fifth string, and add your pointer finger to the second string, third fret. So second string, third fret, and fifth string, fourth fret. Doesn't sound right though. So. That's right. And get the third string after you play them together. Then you can lift your middle finger and just slide the pointer finger to the second fret, still in the first string. And then you go down to the fourth string with your thumb on the right hand. You still get the first string with your middle finger. So you have get the third string in between. Before we go to ah, slide all the way to the fifth fret now, and put your middle finger on the fifth string again. Now it's on the sixth fret. And when you do that, your thumb on your right hand goes back to the fifth string. 
because right now just saying where the thumb is, it's fifth string, fifth string, fourth string, fifth string. So now you can play as well as next part. Pointer finger goes onto the fourth string, second fret. And your ring finger will go into the first string, third fret. Your thumb, of course, will have a fourth string then, while your middle finger gets the first, and your, your pointer gets to have the third string again on its own. Actually. But it won't just be the third string. After you play this together, you alternate again now between the third and first string with your pointer and middle finger. After that, you move your pointer finger one fret to the first fret, still on the fourth string. Play them together, and then again alternate. Next, well, let's review that again. Next, you'll put your... I use my ring finger, you don't have to, but I just bring my ring finger up to the second fret now. And you don't, you just play that together, you don't get to the third string with your pointer after that. Then you replace your ring finger on the first string with your pointer finger and move to the third fret, while your middle finger goes to the fifth string. And so on your right hand, your thumb will be on the fifth string now. So it's... Up, move your thumb to the fourth fret. Put your pointer on the third fret. Add your middle finger to the fifth fret. Make sure your thumb on your right hand goes to the fifth fret. And now it's a pretty easy transition. Your ring fingers already should be kind of hovering around the fourth fret. Just slide it down a little bit to the fifth fret. You can lift your middle finger. And your ring fingers on the fifth fret of the second string while your pointer finger goes to the third fret of the fifth string. And that's all you're playing. So with your right hand, your thumb has a fifth string, and your middle finger will have a second string. You play it together, and then you alternate between the third and second. Slide your ring finger to the fourth fret, just a little bit, so it's one fret closer to your pointer. Then alternate after playing together. Slide them both one fret, so now they're on the second and third frets. Play it together and then alternate. Again, a slide. One more slide. But now your pointer finger is off, and your thumb on your right hand goes to the fourth string. And then last but not least, you go back right where you began to your sixth string, third fret. Put your thumb on your sixth string and your middle finger on the second string. And you can play back and forth between third and second here as well, if you like. Second fret. Third fret on the first string, fourth fret on the fifth, fourth string. Fun. Um, ask me if you have any questions. I will try and find where the tab is. I'm not sure if it's on the internet, but if it is, I'll add a link. And I'll be hopefully coming out with another video for the rest of the song shortly.